We saw their effects and we've been following the aftermath all week. We've also told you how people in the Wabash Valley have stepped up. News 10's Caitlin Hunt is live in our newsroom tonight with the story of a local man with ties to one of those communities. Yes, Rondrell, it's almost been one week since those deadly tornadoes tore through Mayfield, Kentucky, and its destruction and the community members haven't been far from one local man's mind. Dave Cash has lived in several different towns, but he says his heart is with his hometown of Mayfield, Kentucky. I always have gone back there often. Uh, I don't think I've missed a year of going back to see family and friends. I still have family and friends that live in that area now. That's why last week's storm coverage became a concern for Cash and his wife. We were in a restaurant having breakfast before we were traveling back to Indiana and, and we heard Mayfield, Kentucky and it, we just, it was just like everything stopped. It would take some time before Cash would hear from his relatives, but luckily his relatives confirmed their safety. It was so good to hear every time, we're okay. We're okay. We're fine. Uh, but, but our town is not fine. Cash and the Terre Haute Association of Realtors immediately felt the need to act. For the past week, the group has collected hundreds of items for Mayfield, including water, blankets, and grilling charcoal. Cash and a group of volunteers plan to drive all of these items to Mayfield. This trip for Cash will be bittersweet, but he is hopeful his hometown will return to its former glory. I have a lot of hope that that, that will be rebuilt and that there will be better days to come where the sun will shine bright. Cash and the association are taking donations until they leave Tuesday morning. If you'd like to contribute, you can find details on our website. Reporting live in the newsroom, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.